Hi, this is Dr. Rudraman from the Oral Health Channel and today we are going to be talking about gingival veneers. Let's start. So today I'm going to be talking about a prostatic device that is used for patients who are suffering from gingival recession due to periodontitis. Now let me tell you one thing, there are some class of patients that have undergone through a lot of periodontal therapy but at the same time unfortunately their periodontitis has not resolved up to the level that the bone loss has gone up to 40 to 60 percent level and there has been gingival recessions especially in the aesthetic area which brings a compromise to the quality of life of these patients because they cannot smile and hence they don't feel confident while going out in public and you know having social interactions. So there is a non-invasive economical solution because of these patients not being able to undergo periodontal therapy because of all biological and case related reasons. There is another prosthetic solution to mask the gingival recession with the help of gingival veneers or gingival masks. So basically there are some indications and contraindications for the same. Let me talk about the contraindications first because it's more important that a patient who has undergone periodontal therapy and still not responding, the complete periodontal therapy has not taken place. There is poor oral hygiene, lack of compliance, lack of manual dexterity, any oral abusive habits such as smoking are not great candidates for these uh, gingival uh, you know, veneers. At the same time, people who have undergone three months of you know, complete remission of any sort of active periodontal disease and are on a very good recall with very less pockets, uh, the bolus is very stable and there, there are no pockets present the you know uh, there is hardly any mobility in the front teeth and i think these guys are good who have shown good motivation towards uh, you know uh, maintaining immaculate oral hygiene without any uh, medical compromise on the medical side of their health these are good candidates so let me go through the process of fabrication of a gingival veneer after making sure that the case selection is all right and we have something known as that the bone loss is stable there is no active periodontal treatment required and the patient is on supportive periodontal therapy with immaculate oral hygiene, very less uh, sort of mobility in teeth and the fact that there are no, apart from recessions, the loss of attachment is not there in the form of pocket depth. So when we talk about that and the case selection is done, we will take the impressions of the members that require the gingival veneers and then we will probably do a wax up on the cast, making sure we block out the interdental spaces so that it attaches very well. Uh, from the members of the parietal side as well and then we will send the uh, the wax up to the lab to make sure that it is you know cured into heat cure acrylic resin with little touch ups and all those things at the same time we can use silicone materials also to fabricate veneers let me tell you that acrylic veneers are kind of you know not very flexible and they can be brittle upon and that's why they require manual dexterity at the same time the silicone gingival veneers are very good they are flexible so they don't have a problem and that's why patients also accept them for what they are. Now uh, the only thing that I would like to really talk about the thing is that after gingival veneers have been placed please make sure as a patient that you are coming for regular follow up visits because if you don't follow plaque control properly if you have any oral abusive habits that cause staining such as tobacco or you know any sort of smoking and all those things your veneers will also get you know stained and that would probably give a more unesthetic result than even when you started off. So that's very important for you. And at the same time, the case selection is done by the periodontist, the gum surgeon or the dentist who knows his stuff about this. The case selection is very important because you don't want to give false hope to people who have very loose teeth to undergo this kind of a treatment because the impression might just take off the teeth. So the case selection for gingival veneers is very important. All in all, the acceptance has been found to be very good for the next two to three years for the patients because they can smile and they can go out in public and have social interactions. Be it so that it is very important to understand that there are some sort of responsibilities as a patient that come with the maintenance of gingival veneers. So that was today's episode. Please like, share and subscribe and do press the bell icon for important updates. If you need to get in touch with me, here is my WhatsApp number and my social media handles. Kindly refrain from calling me directly. Just drop me a message and then probably in a day or two I can get back to you. If you have any other doubts, queries, apprehensions or criticisms or suggestions, please feel free to do so in the YouTube comment section. So that's it for today. Thank you.